and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube as well for some Grixis control. We got a new look Grixis control that we're going to be trying out over in Mythic. This list is courtesy of one of my uh, viewers over on YouTube that leaves a lot of comments. Uh, Darkray XL. Uh, they put this list together and have been uh, said they've been doing really well in Mythic with it. And I really like what this deck has going on. I think this is a really good uh, and very interesting way to play Grixis. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try. The main thing that we have is that we have lots of instants, lots of counter magic. And I really like that right now. I think that, you know, the, the days of just playing like sorcery speed removal and sorcery speed sweepers and everything is, is pretty tough because there's just too many haste creatures and too many really impactful planeswalkers um, that we need to just be uh, proactive in, in dealing with them on their turn. So I just like how basically everything in here is instant speed besides some of our two mana stuff. Um, so yeah, you know, we still have Thought Erasure because the card's just amazing. But, um, and of course Legion's End. But besides that, you know, like we got all these instant speed stuff. So we got 10 counter spells, Ionize, Sinister Sabotage, you know, being our hard counter spells with it, that we can just counter every, any kind of threat our opponent's playing for three mana. Um, you know, we have the Mystical Disputes that we need early against the Oko decks. We got two in the main, two more in the board. And, and with the ability to hold up counter spells, if it turns out that we don't need to counter something, you know, we get to make that decision, then we can have our instant speed removal. If we don't need a counter, we maybe we want to murder us rider, like the swift end part. Maybe we want to bone crusher giant or even flame sweep, you know, flame sweep, like flame sweeps, the kind of card that I was kind of skeptical, kind of looking at this because it doesn't get rid of like all the Nissa lands and Oko makes a bunch of three threes and everything like that. But really, our goal is keeping those cards off the battlefield. Flame Sweep is perfect against like the the zombies, the the uh, zombies from uh, Field of the Dead, and even if they get like the instant speed zombies with the um, with their fetch land, we still have like the Flame Sweep to clean all of those up. So that's kind of what our our deck's about. Also, if we don't have to counter something, we got these Rouse Outbursts in here, which you know Rouse Outbursts may look a little. Um, underpowered but this is kind of like our chemistry's in uh, chemistry's insight slot where we get to refill our hands but we also get to have removal while we do that so you know we can kill something that's smaller you know do three damage to something and then also look at the top two and take the best one that's going to really help us make sure that we have more counter spells basically so you know like we get to you know hit something go look for another counter so we get to keep on having the counter spells up and everything like that so this looks like a pretty interesting way to play Grixis. Of course, our top end, we are going to tap out for our Dragon God because this card is just so incredible. So that's our, this is our win con for the most part. You know, we can make some some creatures here and everything also. But, you know, Dragon God is, you know, <clears throat> what we're going to be playing. Maybe wait till like turn eight. And, you know, we play Dragon God with counter magic uh, to protect it. And ever, or uh, we'll kind of see there. This looks pretty interesting. So that's what we're going to do. Um, the other card in our main deck that's a spicy one is we got Sorcerer Spyglass, and honestly, this is a very good metagame for Sorcerer Spyglass. Simic is the most, like, Simic is, like, the most played deck right now. Like, it's, it's taking over Field of the Dead. Uh, everybody's playing Okos and Nissas and Wicked Wolves, and Spyglass is just, it's just a great answer to Oko, basically. With Oko being everywhere, the value of Spyglass is really high, because you can just have, uh, Spyglass on turn two, say Oko, and you don't have to worry about killing that Oko or any like all the other Okos. Um, also, Spyglass, like I said, you can get rid of you can get rid of Wicked Wolf's ability, so you can actually kill Wicked Wolf um, if that's in play. So it can't just eat food to be indestructible. You can name Nissa, um, other things that you can do with Spyglass. Also, um, let's see. Besides that, sideboard, we got some Ritual of Sits also if we if we need those. If we need a Sweeper that's a little bit bigger than Flame Sweep. But again, we got more Instant Speed stuff with, with Negate, Mystical Dispute, Disdainful Stroke, Noxious Grasp. So, you know, like we're trying to play that Instant Speed game. There is one Epic Downfall because of Wicked Wolf. You know, we can exile Wicked Wolf with this. We can also exile Golos. Um, but, you know, it's like that's, that's a good card to have against Wicked Wolf right now. And we're going one Elder Spell against all the other Planeswalker decks. Um, 
I changed just a couple of cards from Dark Claw's list. What I changed is I thought that Mana Base needed another blue source. There was two of these black castles. I took out one of the black castles for a dismal backwater. I don't think that I'm hoping that just that tap land isn't isn't too bad, but I definitely thought we need another blue source with with these. And uh, they said that they struggled with Planeswalker sometimes, and so they had four Bone Crusher, two Murderous Rider, and I just made it three and three, so that we have an, another Murderous Rider for Planeswalkers. Um, and then I took out an Elder Spell for a second Spyglass because I'm just really high on Spyglass right now, but we'll we'll see, we'll see there. Okay, so let's check out this deck. We're going to play it over in Ranked. I like how this deck looks quite a bit. Let's see how we do. We're going to play like four matches with the deck. I think we'll probably play, we'll just play like four matches with Grixis Control and with Teamer Walkers each here. Instead of, instead of playing five, we've already been streaming for four and a half hours. Um... It's just a, it's just a, a slow format. <laughs> These games take a while, and then I expect this deck. This deck is not winning any games quickly at all, <laughs> so I expect these games to take a while. Okay, so we'll just play some tap lands here and start setting up. Uh, no army, I, I haven't. Um, is it Flash? Is it, is a deck that has put up a couple of five O's and stuff though? I've I've seen is it Flash decks. I don't know that specific list though. Yeah, this was a Nicol Bolas avatar that that was for purchase after War of the Spark released. It, was, it came with like these war, these Nicol Bolas sleeves and stuff. I. I guess that they aren't in the store anymore. But yeah, it was before. Um, we got one flame sweep. We're probably good there. Can I get that flame sweep back? Bullets just hanging out in the prison realm. Yeah, so probably not getting the bullet sleeves back. So I, I want the the swamp so we don't have to shock in for like this land here. <clears throat> Cavalcade and Torbran. Well, Torbran's not going to be able to be played. Right? Or were they on the play? No, I was on the play. So they already played their land. Wow. That is not a good use of a second light up the stage, because they can't play all this stuff. I'm gonna ionize here over sabotage. Because I think we can kinda draw anything. It's not like I don't think I need to like Surveil this turn. We'll wait to surveil later. Yeah, the only three damage, three CMC red board wipe is Deafening Clarion that's red and white. Tiger said you expect two car at least two cards being banned tomorrow. I could honestly see anything. Yeah, I could I could see stuff being banned. I could see nothing being banned. I I don't know. I could see anything. Yeah, I just wasted those. I guess yeah, technically gates of blaze, you you need to have three gates in play for it to be three mana, three damage.
to have a fourth light up the stage. Must be nice. So I could have flame sweeped end step to um to use my mana there, but I'm just gonna wait because I'm assuming my opponent's gonna play these fervent champions. First main phase. Clear up these five. before they attack and get the attack triggers with the Scorch Spitters. Alright, they got two cards. I kind of want to just play this thing as a lifelinker and then hold up Sabotage for like their last card. Then if they have, they have like Torbrand, I have to sabotage it, where if I wait, I can just murderous ride of the Torbrand. I'm just going to wait. At least we know our opponent is not playing any more any more light at the stages. We don't have to play around that too much. Alright, Rouse Outburst going infinite. What can this do? This could minus. Like, if it, I don't care about it zeroing, and we have the spy glass. It's like, this is the only target for spy glass anyway. You know it's better than having a plan. Basically, anything. Fire spreads fast with help. Chandra. It's the right Chandra, right? Okay, good. Let's make sure. They can draw one card. We can counter it. Counter spells are so good. Playing instant speed, everything is pretty sweet. Okay, pretty impressive game one. We got to counter Cavalcade of Calamity though. That was important for sure. All right, so what if we just cut Nicol Bolas and play a couple of Ritual of Sud and a couple of Negate? I like the one Spyglass for Chandra. That's the only one we need. Negate's better than Mystical Dispute, also. So we'll play 
We'll play one Dragon God over a Mystical Dispute. All right, looks good. <clears throat> yeah, instant speed tribal. Yeah, I already like the deck. I like this deck. Yeah, Grix is Flash. It's not not Flash creatures. Gross. I mean, I, I really like Legion's End. I like our mana here. I mean, I guess I, I like that we have the, the good colors of mana. I don't really like that it's just Temples and Shocklands. Um, Hazel Farmer. A mulligan. All right, this is a better hand. I think it's important that I have Flame Sweep on turn three. And so, therefore, with this hand... We are going to be, you know, having like tap land, tap land. We need like the untap land. So like, I wasn't really planning on being able to have two mana on turn two. So that's why I put back the thought erasure. Gross. Gross. They get ionized. No, I, I didn't play. No, I never was like a Grixis Death Shadow player in Modern. Enjoy. Oh, they're so cute. Too, too, too many times. Minus your Tybalt. Ugh. Rouse outburst. Real rough. My friend is here to help your pain. I think I just want to get the Ritual of Soot out of my hand here. It's, it's definitely better to wait and Flame Sweep on their turn. But I... You know, like, they kept their three mana up to be able to hold up, like, their, their counter spell to Ionize. I wanted to see if they would play more things. It's unfortunate they got a Rouse Outburst over there. But they, you know, they shouldn't ha really have access to those anymore. And <laughs> Thanks, Tapeworm. Yeah. Definitely loved it. Green White Valley Town for sure. That's that's where it was at. Okay, that could be a problem. All right, so I'm gonna have to just flame sweep on my turn, to break your mind. so that Steamkin can't grow. The more 
Basically, should I shock? It's like, we're going to do that. Should I shock to have negate available? Okay, I just have to do that. Hmm. Shock to have negate available. I'm going to do it. So they have like a Chandra, I just lose. Gross. Yeah, Frenzy would have been devastating as well. Bone Crusher Giant, not bad. Can trade with Torbran. basically just don't think I can just sit there and take three. Using this, we get the surveil. Got to find something for Torbran. Ugh, three damage. Not enough damage. Could play this epic downfall. Nah, I like where we're at. I think if I would have just flame sweeped, I mean, I should have just flame sweeped before that other robber attacked. If I would have just done that, I think we have a pretty good chance of winning that. I think I, I messed up with just with waiting. I should have just flame sweeped on their turn before the robber attacked after they played the fervent champion. And then maybe I could have, you know, didn't need to cast ritual, so it maybe could have held up counter magic after that. Yeah, the negates are in our sideboard that I brought in from the sideboard. It's not in the main deck. So basically, I, I need to like use the surveil to look for a land. I didn't want the robber to take take the land if that's what we found. They'll be able to play Steamkin here. But then like the next turn.
So obviously, if they play Chandra, we counter it. That's an easy one. If they just attack, if they just attack. I can I can flame sweep, but then they can play Chandra, and I I can't let them play Chandra. So we have to let them do damage. But then once they play light up the stage, I could flame sweep immediately after they play light up the stage. Good old manual tap. So you never know, it could hit any of these mountains. So I could just flame sweep now. Obviously we can counter light up the stage too. They get the the second light up the stage though, and like the steamkin's kind of a problem after that. Gross. Hey, Doug. Alright, so I'm going to be countering the Torbran this turn. Steamkin just, you know, getting large and letting them cast a lot of spells a turn is certainly a problem. Should have waited. Would you want me to wait for with the flame sweep? The steamkin was just good. Like the problem, the problem with waiting is that I'd have to like kind of, I'd like need to kill the steamkin before they untap because the steamkin was just going to be, was going to be able to add a whole lot of mana. Huh? They just don't want to play Torbran. They would rather do this than play Torbran. Like they're just wasting this card. It's just going to go away. It's not like they get to save it. I mean, I'm countering this for sure. It's just which counter spell do I want to use, but it's it's getting countered. Um, sabotage is, uses my mana better, but then if they have like another Torbran, I don't have Sabotage available. So I guess I'm going to need Negate for Chandra anyway. Yeah, we already knew their hand. They didn't have another spell to play. Like we knew that they just had Chandra, a Castle, and two lands. We got tons of black mana. That worked out well. A three mana spell. So they couldn't, you know, activate the Steamkin to be able to play Chandra. So that worked out well. Hey, Marias. Got to get some good use in with those emotes today. I hope my opponent minuses with Tybalt here. So I can kill that creature in the Ritual of Set also. Oh, 
They're so cute. All right, we got to get the ritual set out of our hand eventually. We'll just do it now. Need more rouse outbursts. All right, so we're at four. But our opponent's not going to be really resolving anything else. Cast Bone Crusher Giant as a creature. I only get one counter spell available. And my my opponents definitely like they're doing a good job of like like they're I'm sure they're gonna wait for me to tap out so they can play a whole bunch of spells in a I row. If I wait a turn, I can still have two counters available after playing Bone Crusher Giant. Well, that's assuming that we draw a land. Also, what's up, Balding Yeti? Thanks for the sub there. I really appreciate that. Resub in here. That's sub number six. So, yep, yeah, looks like looks like it worked. You just had to wait a couple hours there. Yeah, so thanks for waiting and getting it done right away. Thank you. So... Hopefully just one counter spell for this turn is enough. Or if I just let them resolve Chandra. They do two damage to me at least. Or they could cast light they could cast light of the stage or do two damage to me. Too bad. Yeah, if, if I don't, you know, like slaying fire would kill me. But like, I can, you know, I can attack Chandra with this Bone Crusher Giant, so it can it can die this next turn. Oh, that is really gross. Wow, I was not really expecting Lava Coil. Oh, that is a killer. Oh man, well I lost this now, because now Chandra just recast Lava Coil. Ah, uh, I guess I need to cast, I need to counter Chandra. Uh magic's difficult. Yeah, the, my opponent played this very, very, very well. All right, well, we gotta draw another Bone Crusher Giant or Rouse Outburst or um. Or Nicol Bolas. Okay, that keeps us alive for a turn. Or like the Planeswalker removal, you know, like our drawing our Spyglass. Um, would have worked. Or Murderous Rider would have worked. We need to draw one of those things. The Gain Life Land lets us stay alive for a turn, because this attacks for four with the castle. Flame Sweep would have been okay too. We had lots of draws. We did not draw them though. No. 
Shouldn't have played the Bone Crusher Giant. Should have just passed. We just had lands coming up. Like playing the playing the Bone Crusher Giant and you know making it so I only had one counter spell available cost me that. Should have waited it because it did turn out that we just had lands coming up and um, you know we don't know if we're gonna have more lands coming up, but should have waited. Ravnica Allegiance pack. But yeah, going down to just the one counter spell there. Made it so I was too scared to counter the Chandra. Thinking that we could just attack the Chandra. That didn't work out. Sand looks pretty good. I like this card. I should probably keep a black mana source. Well darn. We don't have a great plan if they get if they get Oko underneath our counter spell. We don't have a great plan here. These rouse outbursts, we gotta look for murderous rider or spyglass. Um, you know, could Narset. Or sorry, could Nickel Bolas, sorry, could Nickel Bolas also, I suppose. <laughs> Legion Zen needs a three mana planeswalkers. Yeah, Lucky Clover could be a pro could be a problem existence. for this deck. I could see that. I haven't played against a Lucky Clover deck in a very long time. It's probably been more than a week since I've seen a Lucky Clover deck. in your deceit. Revel with your king. Wild. Just have more. Surely you must be famished. They just have more. Always more Okos. I'm glad we got the two extra spy glasses in the board, though. We got a lot of spy glasses. I'm very glad about that. So, you know, we can just spy glass Oko. We don't have to worry about trying to kill it and then, you know, trying to kill another one and so on. We can just stick them with extra dead cards Gaze in hand once they draw more. And put on your true shape. Just not even attacking with Paradise Druid. Just don't even want to threaten lethal. <laughs> we could end a legion of food.
Maybe they play Gilded Goose before combat. All right, so bring in Dispute, Elder Spell, Spyglass. Bring in everything. Yeah, I could see an adventure control deck uh, doing some work. Um, I was planning on for for best of one day Monday tomorrow. I am planning on making a a deck with Lucky Clover and Fay of Wishes. I haven't really decided if I want to go Teamer or Soul Tie with it. And Legion's End is perfect against Krasis. Um... Just too many cards. About to run out of time. Kind of panicked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out a land. They saw we drew so many lands there. Our deck plays such a long game. I'm gonna take out a land. Kind of getting punished. Yeah, Balding Eddie, you can. I may not know the answer, but yeah, you can always ask questions. Deputy, double Paradise Druid. I took out the flame sweeps, didn't I? Ugh, these these paradise druids could be a problem. Yeah, absolutely, KY. Yep, yep. I'll do donation decks for brawl. Absolutely. So yeah, cool. Yep, I will definitely play the Mara deck. If you're only uh, two D10s, you know it's a one in a hundred chance to roll a certain number. Um, it's actually not one in a hundred chance to roll your numbers when you're rolling two d10s, because you can't roll you can't roll a one like there's no zero. Um, I 
right? So you can't roll like you can't roll like a a one, for example. Like the lowest number you can roll is two, because you could roll one and one. Is there still just a hundred different outcomes though? I guess because you have tens, because rolling a ten and a ten is like. So I guess I guess there's still a hundred different outcomes, then, right? Even though it's. Ugh, we need land. Playing spyglass doesn't help me get land. I guess I'm getting punished for boarding out of land. I don't care about this wolf. We got epic downfall for it. I don't care about it. I'm just gonna name Oko. Land. Yay. Anyway, yeah, y'all are figuring out the question. my murderous rider to stop this army of paradise druids we have to two for one ourselves to make but at least they tap out Okay, they did not want to tap out. Ugh. 
Things are not lining up too good for us. I don't think I'm dealing with this one now. I mean, I take out one land, so we have 25, and we just couldn't hit land drops for so long. Ugh. Do not control decks. You do need your cards to line up. Do not line up for us. Well, let's give this let's give this deck another try. You know, like that's just a, a really small sample of one match there against like the Simic deck. But that that one did not work out well, very well for us against the Simic deck there. I. Also, don't know exactly how I want to be sideboarding there. I was thinking the flame sweep wasn't going to kill very much stuff, but then my opponent had, like, their whole hand was cards that would have died to flame sweep, and I took out my flame sweep, and that was, you know, like they just had like goose druid druid, and so that was a certain regret. That was certainly a big regret. Black mana. This thing just turns every single creature into a huge threat. I'd rather them have like, you know, some one ones at times. But one with the thought erasure. Because yeah, they, they could have emptied their hand here. Gross. The thing is, is like my opponent just doesn't need to play Embercleave here. I can't, I can't kill anything first because they like Embercleave and kill me. They just don't have to actually play Embercleave with it being an instant. I just go down to three if I, but I can't. I can't murderous rider because if I murderous rider, I die. We're in the worst spot. I guess I have to.
Yeah, like Bone Crusher Giant's my shock. Um, but you know, like Flame Sweep is supposed to help protect. You know, like Flame Sweep's supposed to be like if they have like small creatures like that. I know you can't play like as you say you can't play Drago whenever the opponent has a board. So like the four Flame Sweeps are supposed to really help out with that. Hasn't quite worked out for us. They play like four of each of the equipments. Maybe spyglassing the equipment isn't so bad. Can always spyglass Knight of the Ebon Legion too. <laughs> All right, come on, deck. So we got the flame sweep this time. Good scry land there. That was a good draw. So here we go. So like they they play something that's like, you know, bigger. We need to counter. We can't. If they play something smaller, we get to flame sweep. This is what our deck wants to be doing here. So yes, I could have flame sweeped, killed the veteran, and then they don't get to trigger. But it's better just to get the three three out of here. It's tough decisions what to go with. I didn't really want to draw the second uh, spyglass. Basically, I wanted to see what their hand was with this spyglass. Like, I want this like information. So yeah, I shot because obviously I want to have sabotage, but I want to have the information about everything else as well. Suits 
suffer for your cause. If they draw land, we win. Looks like they did. Okay, so that's what our deck can do. You want a Noxious Grasp? Downfall? I'll play a Downfall. For Acclaimed Contender, I suppose. <laughs> I was the Nickel Bullis voice actor. GG. <laughs> All right, game three. Come on, Grixis. Another good hand like that. Uh, se second match was against Simic Oko. I had some pretty bad mana troubles and stuff, and things did not work. Like they had they had turn two Oko the first game that just took over, and then game two I had missing land drops. If that was black mana, I would keep it. I want to find a second black source here. That does let me Rowl Outburst, but also it's a shock land. I don't really want a shock land either. <laughs> yeah, we've been we've been having a lot of wins the last few days, so today hasn't been working out too well. That's okay. I think I just need to get five power off the battlefield. I know it would have been nice to have this. Obviously, I'm regretting not having the steam vents right now because yeah, I'd like to rouse outburst, but because with us just drawing more spell spells. Where is a black mana? Uh, it's not black mana. Oh, right, I forgot about the fervent champion pumping this thing, so I was gonna pump the knight. One of these cards. I just want something to kill this Knight of the Heavenly Gen. Puts me down to one. So 
basically going to make a game. We got we got four basic swamps and a castle, so there's I still have four lands I could draw. One card too late. I mean, this is, you know, obviously hindsight, but if I would have kept the steam vents, we would have had the mana for the Rouse Outburst to take out this knight a long time ago. No, they can't, you can't cast Chance for Glory. It doesn't have white mana, but they do have now, like, the, with that draw step, now they have the mana for Rampage, so I can't just play the Bone Crusher Giant to block. They have Rampage. Mana. Well, dang, yeah, we went from like number 100 ranked to one in, we went one in six today down to 98%. These decks did not work out very well at all. I was really, I was really excited to play this deck. Um, it's just such a small sample, but you know, like our, our mana really hurt. I think that this deck's better than what it showed. It's just a really small sample. Um, That's, that's about, like, I really don't have anything else to say. Just a small sample of us losing. The aggro decks there don't let you stumble at all, and we were just stumbling a lot, unfortunately. Lots of stumbling. But oh well, that's Grixis Control. Um, yeah. We'll have to another match. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna move on to our next deck. It, this is just not, not the day for our control decks. <laughs> Thanks, Dustin. So, any changes I'd like to make here? Not really, no. Honestly. <laughs> not really. I can't really th think of anything I want to change. Like, maybe a fourth... Like, maybe... No. I don't think I want the fourth Bone Crusher Giant. I think Flame Sweep is really well positioned. I like how this deck is, but... Just... I don't know, like, what to change about the mana base. Our mana base was terrible, but that's just kind of... I feel like that was just kind of a small sample. Like we couldn't couldn't cast spells. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't think just because we went 0 and 3 means that things have to definitely have to change. The thing about control decks is you need your cards to line up and and cards didn't really line up for us, but that doesn't mean that um you know, that doesn't mean, like, if we play, you know, replay all those three, three of those matches, like, you know, if we just shuffle it back up and replay those three matches, maybe we would just win all of them and, and we go 3-0 and then we say the deck's amazing. It's it's just such a small sample. <clears throat> the... I think the, probably the, the biggest thing that I would want to change is probably having more... Or like more one and two mana removal in the sideboard. I think that's the I think that's the biggest thing that needs to change. Is against the aggro decks, we need to have more one and two mana removal in the sideboard for aggro decks. That's that's what needs to change. Like th there doesn't need to be three negates. And then like noxious grasp, elder spell. There's there's not one and two mana removal in the sideboard. Our sideboard needs like disfigure, shock, legions end, things like that. We need we need better stuff against the aggro decks in the sideboard, because there are a lot of aggro right now. Like there is just a lot of aggro right now. Yeah, our our deck is definitely built for Field of the Dead. Like basically, yeah, our main deck is is like for Field of the Dead, and then with sideboard for Oko. But it's just too much sideboard for Oko. 
as we kind of noticed there, I, I did like I sideboarded too much previously against the Yoko deck. Also, what if Negate was just out of the deck completely? Maybe disfigure Legion's End? I was like pretty I was like pretty impressed with Disfigure the other like the other day whenever we played a deck with Disfigure. I did like that epic downfall. Maybe something like that. I'm not sure about dropping Elder Spell. You know, we got a lot of Spy Glasses. Maybe we drop a Spy Glass. That's that's really what our, our deck needs is more more early removal. Maybe the other Giants in the sideboard. Rouse out versus card advantage. We can't we can't really play Bedevil. Over Rouse Outburst. You'd have to play Bedevil over some of these cards, not over Rouse Outburst. Like this deck, you know, like you need this deck needs card advantage, and that's what Rouse Outburst is. I don't know. I don't know exactly what 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 to do with all this stuff. Um I don't you know, like I'd I'd have to like really, you know, like think about it and everything with the sideboard. I don't I don't have like great suggestions, but basically like we we need better anti aggro stuff for turn one and turn one and turn two. Um, against the aggro decks there. <clears throat> All right, well, we're going to move on to Teamer Walkers. Um, I do like some things I like. I really like counter spells these days. I think the counter spells are really well positioned. Um, but we needed better early removal to not get too far behind. But honestly, we just had really bad luck with, with like our mana and everything like that, too. Um, but yeah, I love instant speed stuff. So I want instant speed removal, you know, like Disfigure and everything like that. Um, but that's it. All right, so that's it here for Grixis Control. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, please hit the like, subscribe buttons over there. Um, but I think I think uh, this is a better way to go with, with Grixis Control than Fires of Invention. I think Fires of Invention decks are too slow right now. And they're... It's just it's just such a haste format, the for, because of Oko. Oko has just made everything like all your all the creatures have to have haste because of Oko turning. Just if you try to play slow creatures, they just get turned into three threes, or they get chumped by three. You know, they get blocked by three threes. Because of Oko, we just have to have haste everywhere, and so we need instant speed stuff. We can't really play Fires of Invention. All right, but that's it. That's what I got here for Grixis Control. Um, but anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.